appreciate you guys and no doubt wondering why the hell is the screen upside down right now. Well, that's because of the most recent sabotage I got from, of course, FT Gaming, as you saw in the um, intro right there. Basically, I need to play with the screen upside down. So luckily for you guys, you're going to have a little clip at the top left hand corner right here with the screen right way up but bearing in mind i cannot see that screen so i'm gonna have this upside down the whole time so if it looks a bit weird for those reasons like which directions i'm going in and which attacks i'm doing by accident then that would be why guys <laughs> so yeah this is gonna be really fun i have no idea how this is gonna go Really creative one there, FT Gaming. Great job. I weigh, uh, luckily, I don't have any limited palette to work with, so as you saw from the intro there, I can play with Kaboom, or I can play with anyone else who I wish. Now, don't uh, go in ahead, don't be shy. Go in ahead and leave your own sabotages in the comment section below. I'm kind of interested to see if you guys can get as creative as FT Gaming did with uh, this one of the first. And I keep on wanting to go to the left of a move one, but I keep on forgetting that the move has been moved to the right because of this. Okay, so next up, we need. Undead. So we're gonna put on Cinder Furness. Bolt sand lightning. Bolt sand lightning indeed. Okay, boom. Not boom. Not what I wanted to do, yo. Okay, there we go. Now that, my friends, is what I wanted to do. Okay, so that right there is that. Nope, wrong way. Want to go this way? Again, this is going to be really fun here, guys. Okay, don't, don't want to go that way. I want to go this way now. Yeah, this is interesting, actually. I'm liking this. I mean, it's going to be very tough, mind you, but it's going to be something. Okay, I want to click. Yes, don't I? Yes, I do. Okay, here we go. Let's go. So this one's our lightning, and then this one's our flight ability. Okay. Ten waves of this to go, nevertheless. Now, this is the sabotage right here. You sure that they're the ex evil? Are you sure they're the pathetic excuse chaos or is it all just you? Not what I want to do here, bro. You see what I mean? This is tough. Okay, which way am I going? I'm going the way that I don't want to go. Am I even jumping? I can't even see where I'm going. I can't even see where I am. That's how nuts this is when it's upside down and all that. Okay, am I going? Where am I going? Okay, here we go. I'm going the way I want to go. Whew. Can't believe this. After all this, I'm actually going the way that I wanted to go. Oh, darn. Never mind. Cinder's dead. Cinder is very much down. So what I'm going to do is I'm not only going to bring in a kaboom right here, but I'm also going to go ahead and bring in a trap. Which trap I've put in, I do not know, but we will take it because we need one of those. Oh yes, I just grabbed one at random, and it's my boy Tycoon Quo. What a great one to pick at random, nevertheless. Okay, let's get into this thing. Hey, right. oh darn, I can't even use the right attack with this guy. Not what I wanted to do here. Thank you. Now die. Okay, there we go. He's dead. Yeah, I just realised that you guys are gonna be able to see the screen normally. It's gonna look so weird for you guys. Like me failing so badly because I'm having the screen upside down, and then, like, when the screen looks normal again, it's gonna look like weird to have me make such silly mistakes and stuff, like moving in the wrong direction or pressing the wrong button or something like that. I'm um, sorry if the screen keeps on moving as well, it's just kind of hard to keep it in this position. Wait, I did that? Okay, Kaboom might be better than what I originally uh, let on. Oh, wait, never mind, he's dead. Couldn't even keep track of the poor fella. Okay, next up, here we have Nitro Magna Chouge. Let's go, baby, baby, let's go. Yes, baby, let's go. Let's go, go, go. And this guy's more excited than ever to get going because he has this magnet gun and stuff, so he's all about going, especially with that wheel. It means that he's on a roll. It's not as easy to evade these guys when you have no idea which way you're going. Oh, darn, and it's even harder to jump over those things when you can't remember what button for jump button is. Okay, is this a jump button? That's a jump button. Okay. Not the button that I wanted. I wanted the, um, magnet gun one. Damn it, there's one of the versions of magnet charge gone. Yeah, this isn't easy. I think this is probably the toughest sabotage I've had yet, purely because, like, I've been moaning about the controls this whole time, but I take everything back. Not only do I have to deal with twisted controls, but I also 
Why did I jump into that? I did not want to jump into that, and neither did I want to press that. Okay, fine, we will take this instead. This is one that I shall take. So yeah, I take it back. The controls we had before were just fine, but not only do I have to deal with the awkward controls, but I also need to deal with the fact that um, I have all, uh, different directions and different like attack patterns needed for having the screen upside down and all. Oh, thank heavens that wave is over. That was not a glorious wave to say the least. So wait, do we have a giant block? Because I can't remember whether we did or not. Well, yes, we did have a giant block, but fortunately for me, I just happened to have a giant. And his name is Gnarly Tree Rex. What's going on with my Gnarly Tree Rex right now? It seems to be dying on me. Please don't tell me the NFC of it has died, because for some reason it ain't. There we go, now it's working. Rex is being really weird at me here, guys. He keeps on blinking on and off. And now we have to watch this uh, trap animation again. Yep, just great. Darn, I just pressed something on my PC, which is not good, because my PC is right next to me, and I just happen to be resting on my keyboard for this right now, so I'm going to have to not do that, first and foremost. Am I pressing the right button for this? I don't even know. Okay, there we go. Now I got it. Boom. Okay, hold on a sec while I get something sorted here, guys. Okay, now things are a little bit better because I have a bit more freedom to roam because I've kind of, like, cleaned up my desk that I'm working on a bit. So now I actually have space, a long last space to do stuff. So we're going to place on Quick Draw Route Shake right here, even though it doesn't look much like Quick Draw Route Shake anymore. Now that he's got a Sergeant Verti. But come on, man. Three losses already from Sabotage. This is a great Sabotage. Needless to say, I'm impressed. Other way, let's not press that button. Let's press this one instead. Thank you. Okay, which way am I going from here? This way. Okay, cool. Okay, we need tech. And what's the other one for? Oh, that's just a random one. Okay, so we're going to bring in um, Series 1 Trigger Happy because fortunately for us, we still have this guy in ability to us. sabotages of course um what do you think of this here episode of sabotage because of course that's two things i want to know what, what what do you think of this sabotage what do you think of the sabotage series so far and what are your actual sabotages awesome exactly what i've always wanted more traps oh i will will i that's a bit inconvenient, don't you think? I don't even know whether I even hit those guys right there because of how crazy this thing is right here. Wait, is he dead? He's dead. I can't even... Wait, what? No, I don't want to do that. Oops, I just need to press the restart button. Yeah, I can't even see how much health these guys have at this point because of this right here. This is tough, needless to say. And since it is a different wave, we're going to bring in a different trap in the form of I-5, apparently. Okay, seems like an interesting choice, nevertheless. Okay, let's take some of these fools down. How dare you go for Mystery Box of Doom again? I've had enough of that Mystery Box of Doom being unleashed. Well, that's convenient. We leveled up. Wow, I never realized the Gusto was so low. That looks like level 6, or is it level 9? I can't quite tell because it's a bit upside down. I think it's level 6, though. I meant to do that. Okay. Not the bats. Anything but the bats. Boom. 
take that, fools. Oh, no, never mind. I take it all back. For piñatas. Unleash a bigger piñata. Now, can you guys please just die or something? I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's a jump button. I forgot for a moment there. Hashtag thank heavens for um, villains, nevertheless, because if not, then I think uh, Gusto would have been a bit done for right there, to say the least. Just a bit. Okay, nice. So just remember, guys, the main screen is the screen which I see, and the screen towards the top left over here is the one which I have rotated the screen for you guys for, so then you guys have convenience of seeing the screen normally, unlike me. Who doesn't have such a convenience? Not what I wanted to do, game. Okay, so next up, it looks like we need a little bit of deck, but not a little bit of undead. So the undead, we're going to bring it in ourselves a little good old bit out there. Chop, chop. Gabe's main man, I might also say, because it is, that's fact. Okay, there we go, that's him all sorted out, and then the tech, we're going to go on ahead and bring in another track master now I can finally actually use the gimmick characters once, because normally your sabotages prevent me from doing such things. And then as for our next trap, grabbing a random one at random, we're going to go with this one right here. Again, I'm just grabbing random traps right here, hoping for the best from them. Oh darn, we got proper guy. Not a good choice to say the least. Or not a great random choice, I should say. Not a good choice for random for, for it to pick for me. It knew that I was gonna cock up, uh, cock up with him, I suppose. Okay, do we want to start the next wave? Yes, we do. How nice of you to ask such a pleasant question of this game. Oh yeah, I, I, I meant to do that. She's dead already! Wow, that was just, that was just bad. I'm just bad at this game. Let's just stick with that. I'm just bad. I can't remember, is T-Rex dead? I don't think T-Rex is dead. Don't be dead, dude. I kind of need you right now. Let's just say I meant to do this, Dan. Okay, which one did I just do? Okay, I want to take down this piñata first, and then I'll worry about the mystery box of doom. After all, it's going to take down everything around it, so that's going to be a little bit more convenient in um, the long run. Okay, how, how many hits can this thing take right here? He's dead? Oh, dang it. After all that, he's dead. But at least he went down fighting, I suppose, right? Okay, nevertheless, uh, nevertheless we've got um, a little bit of Jolly Bumble Bass coming up now, bruv. The perfect swarm, indeed. Now, the only thing is, is that I need to figure out how to do such a perfect swarm. Okay, luckily we can just launch our bees from a distance away and then they'll go back onto him, so that's going to turn out good. Hey, how dare it, Fee? How dare it for you again? That hurt. Okay, there we go. He dead, son. He's a bit dead indeed. It's wave over for wave. It is over indeed. Okay, so next up we need a little bit of air and a little bit of tech. For, but first of all, we're going to grab this pretzel right here for Jolly Bumble Blast because we never know when we might need to go back to this guy. Okay, so what do we need again? We need a bit of tech and a bit of air, I believe. So, as for tech, I'm just going to quickly go on ahead and grab me Spire Eyes right here. Oh, darn, just not took my speaker, that was a bit inconvenient. Oh, darn, wrong button, wrong button again. Darn, I'm knocking over the scanners as well. I'm knocking over everything this episode, it would seem. This is the episode for knocking stuff over. And can I be bothered to swap between air scanner? Yeah, yeah, sure, let's go. Bit, 
bet you guys thought I was going to say no for a moment there, didn't you? Okay, who are we going to bring in now, then? Whoever is in this fire, um, chat bubble looks fit, I'm pretty sure it's Chef Pepper Jack still from the previous episode. And I was indeed right, for once I picked a character that was a little less random, a little bit more, I kind of wanted this guy. Plus, who doesn't like Chef Pepper Jack, right? I mean, like, I know someone did a vote off on Twitter for the best, like, Doom Raider, and uh, Chef Pepper Jack won it, so I'm pretty sure he's near enough a fan favourite. Well, not near enough, he is. Okay, that's that attack right here. It's kind of like re-memorizing these guys' attacks all over again. Oh, darn. I'm sorry, Blades fans. I'm clearly about to lose this guy. Darn, that was a hit. I didn't even notice. I thought I was going in the complete opposite way. And no, again, we do not want to do that. Definitely not. That's a big no-go. Okay, let's bring back um, Spy Rise then. Yeah, things are not going much my way, to say the least. Not by much, and not at all. Oh, no, I wanted to do. Just took those fellas down. Now we've got to look out for that guy. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Spy Rise is down. He's downed, and unfortunately, he is also out. Okay, let's bring in Torch without further ado. Yeah, this is probably going to be the episode where we lose the most characters, in all fairness, by the looks of how things are going, nevertheless. That's the jump button. Stop getting mixed up between the jump button and all the other buttons. We took down the thingy guy then. Okay, where's all of those other dudes? That's a jump button. Boom! No way, I actually jumped over that upside down. That's not as easy as it looks to jump over these things upside down. Like, try and play Mario upside down, for example. It's not easy. Nice. Fun little challenge, if you guys have a Wii U, then go on ahead and uh, play Sky Strike 2 on your gamepad and then just flip your gamepad upside down to see how you do, how well you fare. Probably better than me, no doubt. Known with me and my skill, or lack thereof, I should say. Or who knows, maybe I'm doing this better than what uh, I think I am. Oh, yes! Now, Torch is just that good, guys. Torch is great. I love Torch. Okay, where's some more first to kill? Oh, there they are. so much that I don't have plans to lose her anytime soon, so let's try to avoid uh, such things now, shall we? Okay, there we go, that's that fellow taken out, and it's at the end of a wave, that is indeed the end of a wave, nice, wave 34 has been beaten, now I'm sorry if my commentary is a bit stale on this one, I'm just focusing a whole lot more on actually surviving than what I am on anything else really. After all, I do like me some good old bit of survival. And can I be bothered to swap out for an undead character right now? Nope, so we're just going to continue that on without further ado. Yes, that's exactly what we want. I wish I could tell you this was easy, guys, but that would be lying. And uh, don't lie. That's my advice to you. Now I'm going to take Torch off because I want to have the ability to use her in um, later... Um, like, sabotages, so we're gonna go back to Gilbert. Unless I never used him before. I'm pretty sure I used him before in this episode, but if I haven't, let's go, uh, let's go to him, because what matters is that I'm using him now. Because basically what I'm saying is that I thought I've already used Gilbert in this episode, so if I have, then we are indeed returning to him in this episode. But if I haven't, then what matters, if then what matters is that I'm going to him now. Darn. Not what I wanted to do, bruv. Trust me on that. Oh, darn, exactly what we wanted. But hey, at least that takes down those guys down uh, right there, I suppose. Yes, I know, 
Dash Howl's under attack. It's inconvenient, I know, but we're gonna need to deal with it, unfortunately. Okay, there's that guy taking down. Watch out, Gilly! Gilly? Did I just call him Gilly? <laughs> Why the hell not, right? Maybe I should nickname, nickname him upside down as well. <laughs> but then again, nicknaming characters will be much more better upside down than uh, what I am with my combat skills upside down, I suppose. No way I actually hit him with that. That's awesome. Nice. Okay, that worked out quite nicely. Okay, now where's the rest of these fellas? Oh, there they are. Not so good, though. They, they have come for me. They have come for me with a vengeance. Okay, now these guys need to go down. Wait, did we even swap out Chef Chef Pepperjack this wave? I don't think we did, but never mind about that, I suppose. Okay, these guys down. Come on, eat the minds of my spicy jelly peppers! Hot and spicy. Actually, come to think of it, that's a perfect episode name for sabotage because that's the hardest part of editing, guys. The hardest part of editing isn't the um, actual editing itself, it's thinking of a title for the episode, you see. Okay, so next up we need a tech and a dark character. So, as for tech, I'm gonna very quickly grab myself a Mr. Bouncer right here. It seems like he's glitching out on me like T Rex was. I don't know what it is with this game and hating giants today all of a sudden. Bounce at work with me here, buddy. Okay, there we go. He's working at long last. Or is he? Dun, dun, dun. All my giants just broke all of a sudden. Thanks for nothing, you useless glitch. So, uh, let's bring in instead, then, a different tech character in the form of Series 2 Trigger Happy, even though we just lost... So there's one trick happy we can bring this guy in, uh, regardless. And then we also need, what was the other element again? Oh, air. Uh, well, luckily for us, I have a uh, Gusto uh, ready for that. And, and, uh, and Dark, we're not going to bother swapping out for Dark. Wait, that's light? That looks so much like tech from a distance. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take Trig off right here, and then we're going to put on Mr. Gusto. And then as for our uh, villain, we're going to bring in whoever is in our other light trap. So rather than bringing back in I-5, we're bringing in instead blaster Chan. I like me some Blastertron, especially in uh, Skylanders Imaginators, because for Sensei, Blastertron is one of the best Senseis in the game. It's a great Sensei, never the last one that I'd highly recommend for you lot, especially since he's getting cheaper and cheaper these days, so I'd recommend him even more uh, for the great price you can get him at, that is. Okay, somehow, so far, I think Gusto's been the best uh, one for this. Gusto and Torch have done very well so far. Did I even hit any of them? No, it didn't. Great. Luckily, though, I'm actually starting to get quite used to this. Sort of. Yep, definitely only a sort of. Gusto also, my bad guys, I apologise about that to say the least. Okay, so now it looks like it's time for the turn of, um, is Scorpion still alive? I can't remember whether Scorpion's still alive or not. I'm having that weird suspicion that he's not. Oh wait, no he is, I thought we used him already, clearly not. But yeah, my memory is clearly not up to snuff, uh, as you guys can tell at this point. Scorp's dead. And that's for certain. Okay, so let's take Scorp back off and let's put on uh, Terrafin right here. It's feeding tired indeed, Ed. Okay, am I even punching anything? No, I'm not even punching anything. Well, yeah, there's a fellow right there. Let's go get him. Okay, I was nowhere near hitting that guy right there. Okay, let's start actually hitting this guy now. Boom. Boom. And a boom. Okay, not quite yet then. Okay, nice. He's taken down. But how much of a wave still remains? Let's find out, I suppose. Okay, so one coming here. 
Nobody would see, and that's a shame, nevertheless. However, this just one taken down. Nice, and taken down it has been. Okay, Taffin's going to go down here, but he's going to go down fighting like a professional boxer would. Yeah, Taffin, oh no, what a huge loss. Taffin highly reminds me of myself as well, which really makes his loss even for more painful. Because the thing is, is that I do a lot of boxing as well, so that's why Taffin reminds me of myself. Not because I'm like a shark like him, but purely because of the boxing factors behind both of us. Oh boy, let's finish this, guys. Off, nevertheless. Never mind. <laughs> It seems like uh, the one who I relate to most is the one who's not doing the greatest. What is it? I'm not going to enjoy. Okay, sorry about that quick interruption there, guys. Either way, uh, we're going to bring in a hot, do uh, hot dog. <laughs> well, then again, they are both dogs, so I can see the confusion, nevertheless. It's just that this guy's funny bone and not hot dog. That's what I'm saying about that one right now. Either way, I was just saying about Tefan. It seems like the character I relate to the most is one who's been uh, down most in this episode, unfortunately. Okay, let's finish these guys off using a hot dog, of course. Hot dog again? I guess I think I'm in funny barn. Nevertheless, so yeah, it seems like the character I relate to the most is one who's feeling most. But I can assure you guys that I stand better in a fight uh, than what Terrafin did right there. Because trust me, when, when I'm in a fight, I win it. I don't just fall down and lose like that, like a complete failure would, like a Terrafin just did. So basically what I'm saying here is that I'm a better boss than Terrafin. Now deal with it, bruv. Come at me if you must. And uh, actually, come to think of it, um, this episode is entitled Hot and Spicy. So why not talk about spicy foods uh, like when I was, when I was with uh, Chef Pepper Jack right now. And I completely forgot what element that was meant to be for. Magic? Magic. Oh, we never first. So yeah, when it comes to spicy foods, I actually adore spicy foods. But that's when they have, like, I don't adore spicy foods for the sake of them being spicy. I prefer, like, having spicy foods when it has lots of flavor. Because that's the thing, though. I don't just want to have spicy foods to show people that I can have spicy stuff. I want to eat spicy foods so I can taste something with f flavor in it. Okay, it's about time, right? Oh, wait, never flesh. So, yeah, that's why I eat spicy foods. And that's because spicy food tends to have a lot of flavor in it. And that's what makes it so delicious, I suppose. Like, things like curries always tend to have lots of flavors and spices sprinkled into them to add to the flavor and serenity and stuff like that. And so I often enjoy having really spicy curries because it gives me the most flavor and the best ten uh, tingling, ten uh, tingling sensation in my tongue, I should say. So yes, I'm a sucker for spicy food. I love eating spicy food and I love uh, because of the flavor, I suppose. And uh, that, that raises another question. I'm asking you a lot of questions this, this episode I'm aware of, but... Um, Never mind about that, I suppose. Plenty of interaction, because that's what this series is for. So another question is, how do you guys like spicy food? Because I love me some some spicy stuff. And, and, and in all fairness, Chef Pepper Jack is supposed to be one of the best cooks of Skylands. Considering how big Skylands is, that must make him a pretty damn good cook. Especially with his signature spicy um, peppers. So I'd love to try this guy's spicy peppers, because I've already previously mentioned that I love um, spicy foods nevertheless. Okay, somehow I'm actually doing quite well with this right here. Oh, well done, Cobra Cadaver. He survived that entire wave. Didn't even need a few systems to fill it right there. That's what I call some superb awesomeness. And, ooh, a water um, tower. But most of these uh, towers managed to survive, and this is the first wave in a long while where we haven't unleashed a mystery box of doom. But I've waited as for such a water, gate, a water towers, even as I mentioned previously. Let's grab Winterfest Lobstar for such a thing and open it up. And actually, because I think I should probably tell you about that um, interruption before, because it actually kind of links back to what I'm doing right here with the fact that it was actually about dessert, because dessert is coming up, which I am very hyped for, because it's a delicious uh, chocolate fudge cake. And in case you cannot tell from um, me already talking about spicy food, I uh, love eating a lot of food, whether it's spicy or not, and so I'm looking forward to that dessert of it first, because it sounds delicious, and if I'm making you jealous by the fact that I'm having a hot chocolate fudge cake, I apologize, but it's mine, and you aren't having any, because uh, they say share it as Karen. Well, not to me, it ain't, so I just have it all myself. Boom, let's go. Now someone die. Okay. No one's dying. It's really annoying me. Oh, gone. This is annoying me even more. Okay, this guy needs to go. Okay, I don't want to lose this guy.
guy uh, just yet. Well, of course, I don't want to lose him. I don't want to lose anyone except for maybe uh, Wrecking Ball. But even then, I don't want to lose Wrecking Ball. It's just that he wouldn't be as much of a loss to me, that's all. Because I don't want to lose anyone in this on, so I threw it with as many Skyders as possible. Nice. Okay, let's take this fall down. Okay, where's someone else to kill? Okay, watch out for him. Ah, where am I going? I'm going somewhere where I do not know. That, that's basically my uh, reasoning behind all of that. Ah, I pressed the jump button again. I wanted to press the charging button. Oh, I hate how much I'm messing this up right here because I'm messing it up badly, nevertheless. Okay, cool. I'll get it in a sec. Anyway, um... Speaking of even more interruptions, my sister just came in to say that I have to go and get my dessert, so I'll do that once I'm done with this recording right here. Luckily for us, there's not too much um, left for me to do here, and here in we shall bring the dark wildfire. Look at this, even when he's upside down, he's stupid overpowered. Or is he? Because he just died, didn't he? Yes, of course he did. What else would happen except for death and destruction and death and all oh. All bloody and not good, nevertheless. By the way, uh, who are we going to bring in next? Let's bring in a uh, good old Series 1 Eruptor. Man, I think I'm going to need a bigger shelf, because I think uh, very soon my shelf of dead Skarnas is going to be much bigger than my shelf of alive Skarnas. Okay, let's bring in Dr. Crankage before we lose another one to this stupid uh, ball and chain right here. It's just a shame that such an awesome trap master like uh, Wildfire would go down in such a manner as that one. Okay, I'm currently at low battery, so uh, that's not good, but I should uh, hopefully finish this before uh, needing to worry about phones dying and stuff like that, because uh, if that was to be the case, that'd be very unfortunate to say the least. Why won't this guy just die? Come on, man. That's hard luck, to say the least. Hard luck and probably bad playing, considering I'm upside down. Yes, I'm very much upside down for this. Let's go with your boy Chopper right here. Seems like lots of guys uh, like this guy, and I don't blame, him. I blame you guys for liking this guy, because this guy's a cool guy. A cool guy? A cool guy indeed. Well, I meant to say cool guy, but I just can't quite recall whether you guys uh, heard me saying such things because sometimes I speak very, very quickly and that makes things, uh, it makes it difficult for people to hear me sometimes. Then again, I suppose that's just the kind of fast-paced natured person I am, I suppose. But hey, there's nothing wrong with that. It just means that my commentary is sometimes hard to listen to, but it doesn't mean that the contents of a word is bad. Or the words even, because I tend to say more than one word when I commentate, do I not? Especially with this mouth and how much it runs. Because by that, what I mean is that, of course, I never shut up. So, of course, I say multiple words, not just single singular, singularity words and stuff like that. Okay, let's try and finish this fall off. Oh, come on, man. Die. I, I meant for Brawl and Chain, not Chopper. Oh, man, I'm so mad about that. One and only Chopper is gone. It's all my fault, and I'm mad and frustrated. And so I'm going to bring in Miss Overrated. Oh, sorry, I meant still Elf. With the OG original one, right where it all began. Okay, finished at long last. It's about time we took him down. And the wave has been completed. Nice. Okay, let's open up this bad boy right here. Then uh, let's also open up this bad boy right here. And then we need an air trap. So as for our air trap, let's bring in... Well, as for our, our, our air element even, that's what I meant by that. We're going to bring in an air trap. That's how we're going to represent the air element of the flesh with Mr. Crankenstein himself. And I really need to hurry this up or else my phone is going to die midway through this. And I'm going to be really triggered from that, obviously. Because why would I not be triggered by such a embarrassing and... Um, Inconvenient thing to say the least because trust me, it's inconvenient as much as it is embarrassing. And trust me, it's very embarrassing, so that shows just how inconvenient it is. Okay, are we gonna advance for the next wave? Yes, we are. I believe this means that we only have two more waves remaining. Start. Yes, it was indeed right by that. Only two more left to go. Thank heavens for that. Not very 
very convenient, to say the least. Oh man, I meant to swap out, but I pressed the wrong trigger again. So many triggers that I'm forgetting which one is for which, I suppose, is basically what I'm saying right here. Okay, let's bring in Legendary Bouncer, which is one giant who seems to be working with me today. So yeah, let's be dealing with the wheeling. That makes no sense, we're just going to stick with it. And I just realized that I've already played this guy. I played him in episode 1, which I completely forgot about. But hey, there's nothing wrong with playing with him again, because he's awesome. And actually, you couldn't think of it, uh, this guy reminds me of the Bad Bouncer and Skynet's Imaginatus. Or is that vice versa? Because, of course, the Bad Bouncer shares the same name with Bouncer. And it's a very similar design as well. The big difference being, of though, is that uh, this Bouncer is a good Bouncer, and the other Bouncer is a bad Bouncer from Skynet's Imaginatus. This is what I'm referring to, of course. This guy has a lot of health because that way he can take in a lot of punishment. Darn, he was almost finished as well. So close and yet so far away as always. It seems like this is clearly not my episode today, guys. Okay, luckily for us though, we're going to return to Gilgrunt because he's one of our last ones to still be alive. So then we can finish him off with him, I suppose. That's basically what I'm saying right here. Okay, finish him, finish him, finish him. Well, we finished that guy at least, that's good. Okay, now let's swap out for Crank, uh, Crankenstein and take out this guy. Thank heavens that that's a pretty powerful punch right there. And I got a going, I'm going to admit, I really like this tune right here. I love the fact that all the villains have their own, like, separate, um, tunes. Or villain tracks, I should say, to be more specific, because it makes every villain, like, feel unique in their own sense. Not to mention, they did this for every single villain, so that shows a really huge level of depth and, uh, and like, determination. And above all, an extra layer of, um, dedication, I suppose, it shows, really. But, yeah, my commentary today is so convoluted, I keep on bringing up several different conversations at once, and that's not a great way to commentate, but it's kind of hard to focus when you need to both focus on a game that's upside down. Which, might I remind you, because it's upside down, makes it much more difficult for me. And to focus on my commentary at the same time as well. It's not the most easiest of tasks, and that's why I challenge you guys to um, try such a uh, game upside down, that is. Either way, um, I need to grab some more Skarners right here. So our next one is Light Court Robot right here. Ah, uh, yeah, let's get blinking and it's trying all right. Oh, darn, this guy's one with a bad laser's path. But hey, that's fine, that's what we got this attack for, right? Thank heavens for this guy's afterburners, because this guy's afterburners get pretty overpowered if you know how to use them correctly, like so. Because, of course, you know, you mess with me and you're going to get burnt. Or at least after burnt, I should say, to be more specific and all. Okay, hopefully after these guys are done, that 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 will be uh, the end of a wave. So then we can move into the last wave of this particular episode at long last. Ah, uh, yes, this particular wave has been done. So we have one last wave of this particular episode. So I can end it off without further ado. Okay, towers have been upgraded. Okay, so uh, we need a water trap, and I'm also going to grab a tech Skylander whilst I'm at it. The only thing is, is I'm currently playing in the dark, so I can't really see things very well. But, um, so yeah, what do we need again? Did we, didn't we need a tech Skylander and a water trap? So why the hell did I take, um, like, Core Drover off for that for, right? Like, if he dies, he dies. That's, it's not exactly the end of the world, considering I have two more Drobots left after this. Speaking of Drobot, I do have a mini Drobit, and I haven't been playing him for a while, so uh, we're definitely going to have to go back to the minis at some point. And yes, it was tech. Why the hell did I take those two Drobot off to begin with? That's what I want to know. Okay, so let's use Threat Pack to activate the last towers of the last wave right here. That's a little last right there. Reminds me of Transformers for Last Jedi. Oh, darn, I got that mixed up. I meant Star Wars for Last Night. Which, then again, Star Wars Last Night would make just as much sense as Star Wars for Last Jedi, considering that um, uh, one of the ranks of Jedi is, in fact, for Jedi Knight. So I suppose that that's the one that would make sense. But Transformers Last Jedi, that would make no sense whatsoever, purely because uh, Transformers has nothing to do with Jedi. So thank heavens for that, because Star Wars is too good to be given the um, bad Transformers movie, uh, like, 
the scenario. Because that's the thing, Transformers made me suck, but I'm not going to get into that right now because I want to remain positive because positive things are important to focus on. Like, I know the Transformers made me suck and all, and I can highly agree with that, and it's a shame about what they've done to the Transformers franchise as a whole because whenever people think of Transformers, they think of the movies where the characters are basically just merciless killing machines that rip each other apart when the TV shows and comic books, which are so much more better, depict them as actual characters instead, which is why I'd recommend the comics, uh, recommend the TV shows and comics over those. Um, needless to say, but um, yeah, the movies, even though they are bad and do depict the Transformers in that way, and it's a shame that they make um, modern day audiences see the Transformers in that light, they still do have good things going for them, like the final action scenes. Like, you guys cannot deny that the final act of any Transformers movie is phenomenal with its action and special effects. Because uh, if there is one thing Transformers is known for, it's its effects uh, because of the fact of how good they are. Because trust me, it's not every day where you can see CGI effects to that caliber with a budget, um, with a budget of that many numbers. Okay, let's take this fall down, and this fall is down nevertheless. Okay, that's going to make things a little bit more convenient for the rest of the wave. Now that we don't need to worry about the mystery box of doom. You guys can't tell, I don't mean to keep on going into these plants right here, obviously, but I can't quite tell very well where I'm going. Oh, I had a mega blast from that, purely because of the effect of the screen is upside down, which in case I haven't, um, expressed it enough, the screen is upside down. For the last time. Well, I'm gonna say the last time, but I'll probably wind up saying it again, knowing me, because I'm very good at repeating the same stuff over and over again, because it's very hypocritical of me, because I said in my most recent walk episode, uh, which was episode number three, about the fact how you can't say the same thing over, over, uh, over and over again and expect a different result every time. And yet, that's basically what I'm doing right here, so it's very hypocritical of me to say that, even though I do the same thing myself. Because, yeah, that's my advice to you guys. If you're going to give someone advice, don't give them the same advice over and over again, expecting for them to have a different response every time. Okay, boom, let's take this fall down, or at least try to, nevertheless. Yeah, we're swapping out, we're swapping out to Fret Pack here because I refuse to lose any more Skylanders, even Skylanders as bad as Jetpack. Even though I don't think Jetpack is that bad, I just find them overrated like most of the good characters. Because that's the thing, if you say a character is good, chances are I will probably also say that Skylander is good. I probably won't think it's as good as you think it is, though. That is no doubt for the situation. And the level is finally at long last completed, so um, I'm going to be leaving you guys with that, and I'm going to be eating that delicious chocolate fudge cake, which I've been looking forward to this entire episode, dedicated to none other than food, of course, considering that there's a bunch of spices and desserts involved in this menu and all. And remember, dessert has a single S and not a double S. Unlike the desert desert. So you so that those stones mixed up with spell desert, 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 like, for worst, you can lose from that as one mark because there's like three marks for spag, which is basically spell and punctuation and grammar. So, messing up the spell of desert would basically only lose you one mark at the most. And one mark isn't too much. Like, sure, whilst one mark can make a difference between a grade, it's nothing to worry about. If you lose one mark, then just brush it off and try for the other ones instead. I have there's Percy Phone right here, but we're not bothered about hers. We're just going to leave the level. And I'm kidding, guys. I know that it's actually pronounced um, Persephone. I'm just trying to trigger you guys, and I'm pretty sure. I did that successfully right now. Either way, we got five uh, stars from this for twice doing with March, uh, March even, not March, March. There's a huge difference between a March and a March because a March is an area of land that's damp, and a March is a ceremonial um, charge of people to represent um, some sort of honourable, memorable thing of the past and something like that. You know, basically some way to remember the past and the flesh and to show honour and strength above all. And it's also a month. <laughs> I just had to add in that pun at the end there. But either way, we did rank up, which is a glorious thing to see in other flares. But either way, clearly enough, this episode has been said done. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm going to be eating it, uh, as I mentioned about previously. But until the next one, peace. Man, I really got to go get a dessert right now, because now I'm seriously hungry for it. Yum. Yum, indeed. I've way in classic Ignite the Fire style, I've managed to completely neglect about showing off the Scarlet that we did lose in this hit episode. 
and um, the Cayman for form of Chopper, Winterfest, Lobstar back there, and there's also Dark Wildfire, Scorp, uh, Spy Rise, Series 1, Cinder, Trigger Happy, Still Forth, and then Light Core, Drobot back there. Then back here we also have Nitro Magna Charge hiding right behind Gnarly T-Rex, um, then there's the Series 1 and 2 uh, Terrafin, then there's also Gear Shift, uh, Legendary Bouncer, Legendary Blades, and Custody Finding, last but not least, right next to my awesome superhero car, uh, Money Box Netflix. But either way, it's funny how I go from uh, talking about spicy foods to dessert foods in this episode. But I'm still going to uh, call it spicy hot and dedication to, of course, my boy, uh, Chef Pepper Jack. Which I would insert a Chef Pepper Jack figure right here, but unfortunately, we didn't get a Chef Pepper Jack figure because Activision is stupid and did, no, did not put him in Imaginators. So unfortunately, all I have to represent Chef Pepper Jack is this um, trap right here. But anyway, nevertheless, clear enough uh, of that has been said and done about this bonus clip right here. Now that I've shown off the scar and stuff, we did unfortunately lose in this hit episode. So now it's time for me to get back to this.